Good afternoon. My name is Vanessa, and I will be your conference operator today. At this time, I would like to welcome everyone to the Social Media Monday Vista Campus conference call. All lines have been placed on mute to prevent any background noise. After the speaker's remarks, all lines will be opened in order for you to ask questions. If you should need assistance during the call, please press star then zero, and an operator will come back online to assist you. Thank you. I would now like to turn the call over to Ms. Suzanne Kamisner. Please go ahead, ma'am. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you, Vanessa, for a lovely introduction. I'm very excited about today's social media Vista Campus Tour event. Uh, before we get started, I do want to go over some details uh, before we start our presentation. Um, if you lose your connection, either phone or internet connection, please just log on or call back in like you did originally. Um, and you'll want to take note of our conference call number, which is 1-877-297-9359. Um, please note that all lines have been muted, but that they will be reopened for the question and answer period that will take later part later this presentation. Um, we would like to ask that no one put us on hold for any reason, because um, if you have background music um, on your personal phones, then we will hear that in our presentation. We prefer not to do that. Um, finally, this event is being recorded and will be made available on the Vista Campus Social Media Monday landing page, and that all links during this presentation will be available at the end. Now I'll turn it over to Michelle Vaughn, Project Manager for Campaign Consultation, who will introduce today's presenters. Thanks, Suzanne. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon and welcome uh, to the Vista Campus Tour um, Social Media Monday web shop. And this is um, part one of two, so we hope that you will um, get a lot out of today and also be able to join us um, when we meet again in August. Um, as as Suzanne said, I'm Project Manager at Campaign Consultation, and we are um, very happy to have Zach Jackson with us, who is with the VISTA Outreach Unit at CNCS, and also um, Danielle Ricks, who is a Social Media Specialist here at Campaign Consultation. And for those of you who have um, been with us before, welcome back. And for those of you who might be joining us for the first time, um, just a little bit about uh, Social Media Mondays. Uh, we do these once a month, usually the last um, Monday of the month, and we really aim to um, provide you with opportunities to explore some of the emerging technology platforms that are out there, and more specifically, uh, see how they're applicable to the work that VISTAs do every day. Um, wherever possible, we get VISTAs or VISTA alumni to participate with us and share some of their experiences. Um, and obviously, being that the VISTA campus is, is a tremendous um, online force for VISTAs um, and your organizations. Uh, we're hoping that you do get a lot out of today's session. And um, I would like to also just point out, for those of you who are new to us, that there is a chat feature on this um, web shop platform that's on the bottom right of your screen. So feel free to um, connect with one another there and also ask any questions uh, of us as we're going through, and hopefully we'll get to all of those today. And again, thank you for joining us. And with that, I'll turn it over to um, Danielle Ricks, who will go over our agenda. Thank you very much, Michelle, and thanks, everyone, for joining us. We have a great turnout, so we're really looking forward to today. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do is go over the overview of the VISTA campus, what it's for, how it's used, and how to teach you how to show your way around. Um, we're going to talk to you about how to navigate around the campus. It's a big place, so we want to help you with that. We'll also talk about resources and tools and tips that are available to you while you're on the campus, some things to be looking out for, connecting with other VISTAs while you're there, which is a really important part of this online community. And then we will have time later on for questions and answers. As Michelle said, if you have some questions as we're going along, please feel free to go ahead and put them in the chat, and we will make sure that we get to them. You are going to be on mute right now, but we will unmute the phones later on so that we can actually talk to you in real life. So um, I'm going to hand it back over to Rochelle. We're going, she's going to ask you a few questions for our poll. We want to get a temperature in the room to make sure that we're covering all the things that we need to cover with those of you on the phone. And again, there is a, going to be a part two, so don't feel like uh, we have to do everything that's go around. We're going to get as much as we can in right now. And then part two, we're going to drill down a little deeper and get into some specifics of how to use this campus for your service. 
Thanks, Danielle. Um, so as you see on the bottom right of your screen there, there uh, should be a few questions that have popped up. Just go ahead and um, answer those if you will. This is just to give us a sense of who's on the call and make sure that we can try to touch all the points um, and get a sense of, of how those of you who are using the campus um, and have been there before, how you're using it, or maybe some of you just went through your PSO and just got started, so we want to make sure that um, we give a good overview of, of what's there. Um, so take a few moments to fill that out, and then I will turn it over to Zach Jackson to um, get us started on um, what the campus is and, and where we should where we should get started. Zach, are you there? I am. Hey there. Okay, this is you're up, Zach. So the Vista campus. What is it? What are the origins of the campus and the purpose? Sure. Um, a couple years ago, um, one of our training managers here at the uh, corporation um, was looking at uh, better better ways that we could keep the uh, Vista community in touch with each other and uh, better ways to create resources for the Vista community as well. As many of you know, there's uh, we currently, uh, the Corporation's National Community Service has the uh, Resource Center, which is a home base for all the resources uh, regarding uh, the corporation's program. What we realized was that we wanted to create something that was VISTA specific, a, a place that VISTAs could uh, basically call their own, uh, somewhere where if they needed something regarding a community building or a capacity building or they needed information about um, uh, their living allowance, uh, a place that they could go specifically that would uh, be easy and accessible to them to better help them uh, during their year of service. And that's how the uh, VISTA campus uh, originated. It's, uh, we, we, internally, we basically like to call it an online commu uh, learning community specifically created for VISTAs. The, um, the, one of the great side benefits of the campus, the, besides all the great uh, learning resources on it, is that it, it also uh, enables VISTAs, VISTA alumni, and others as well to communicate with each other through the forum. Um, another uh, wonderful thing that I, uh, I'd like to uh, bring to the table regarding many of the resources that you'll, in fact, so I believe all the resources that you see on the campus uh, have been vetted through the um, uh, VISTA headquarters and through uh, some of the wonderful um, organizations that we work with to make sure that these are uh, things that would be useful to you in your service. Now, not everything that you'll find on the campus will be specifically useful to you and your uh, service, but there may be another VISTA out there who's doing uh, work, you know, they may be doing work in fundraising while you're doing work in volunteer management, and that information can be found here. Great. So then, Zach, for getting started, um, the very first thing that they'll see, we have a screenshot up, and this is the Getting Started page. And when you log into um, VistaCampus.org, it lands on this page. And can you walk us through the login process? Sure. Um, the first thing you're, you're going to want to do, and I know many of you have probably already created an account, but there might, may be uh, some reasons that you'll, you'll want to listen. So if you have already created an account, I, I ask you please uh, continue on this thing because there might be some cool things you'll learn. You uh, go to, uh, on the right side it says complete, complete the new account form with details. Uh, you read the directions there on the bottom, it says create a new account, and you click on that button, which takes you to a page where you create uh, your username, your password, and you enter some basic information. You're also able to add a picture uh, so that when you uh, put your, uh, potentially put uh, some thoughts up on some of the forms, a uh, picture that basically represents you. Uh, I have a uh, picture of one of the Muppets. <laughs> Uh, I think it's fun. <laughs> um, the other thing that this enables uh, us to do is see who's using the campus uh, because you, you identify yourself as a current VISTA, as a VISTA leader, as an alumnus. It helps us uh, see what, what, what our current VISTAs are doing, what, what type, uh, parts of the campus they're going to, what parts of the campus are, are the alumni going to, and it um, helps us identify specific resources that seem to be useful uh, and other resources that aren't getting the type of attention that uh, we'd like them to receive and we can then uh, moving forward, potentially market them to uh, specific uh, groups within uh, within the Vista campus um, uh, community. So, for example, uh, one of the things that you do with, uh, when you create your login is you uh, talk about the uh, type of uh, a service you're involved in. So you could be uh, doing uh, community development or education. Say you're doing education, and uh, we we have uh, some uh, resources on the campus that are specific to tutoring. We could uh, then later on, if we, we see that, oh, you're in education, but you haven't yet visited the tutoring um, 
uh, resources we have, we can actually send them directly to you and anybody else who has uh, put down education as a uh, community, uh, as a, a particular uh, service initiative that they're focused on. Okay, that's great. So before we get started with how it's organized, which Michelle will walk us through, um, we wanted to take a look at the poll results. So Suzanne, if you would let us know what they are. Sure thing. It looks like 71% um, of you have visited the campus before um, versus only 8 of you have not. Um, and that the majority of you use the campus um, Either you've just started or a few times a year, and that the majority of you um, go to the Vista campus to get answers to basic questions, and that you're looking forward to finding out new ways to use the campus. Well, isn't that right on time then? <laughs> this webshop is specifically designed for you. That's great. So we can go ahead and advance the slide, and uh, Michelle is going to talk to us about how to get organized. And so for those of you who are going for specific answers, or rather basic answers, um, Michelle's going to tell you when you come to this page how you can get started and how you can move around. And I think we're going to give rights over to Michelle so that she Michelle, can thank drive you. again. Okay. Um, so thank you both. And it's really helpful to also see what everyone is on that. And it looks like um, pretty evenly uh, spread out on some of those numbers. So that's, that's really helpful to know. Um, as Zach mentioned, the, much of the content um, that that first um, came up on the campus was really in an effort to take some of the resources that are available, obviously, on the Resource Center and through uh, various training providers who work with VISTA um, and really put it in one place where VISTAs could find the resources that were most helpful to them, um, whether they were regarding things that affect um, your actual, you know, personal life as a VISTA or things more related to the actual service that VISTAs are involved in. Um, so can you see my screen? Great. Um, and as we've mentioned a couple times um, in this reorganization, if, if you've been to the campus before, you can see that um, some things are a little bit different. And this is really a result of, of trying to make it easier for users on the VISTA campus to access information um, that they were specifically looking for um, in a more obvious kind of way with a, with a cleaner design and um, uh, some categories of content pieces related to these elements um, that affect the service year and the work that they're doing. And then also if you weren't necessarily looking for something specific, it would give you um, a better way to be able to see what's here and, and to search around and, and do some digging to find out what you might be interested in. So the screen that we're on right now, and we're in the VISTA section, and you can tell that by the V up here um, in the left-hand corner. Um, the screen that we're on right now is for the Life of the VISTA section. And as you can see um, by the categories listed on the side here and then also in the middle, each of these areas focuses on some things that are important to you dur during your service here. And we'll um, have a chance to touch on a few of these as we go through. Um, but for example, something like um, living on the living allowance. If you click on that, um, each box, if you will, or each content category area gives you um, a few key resources that can take you into um, information that's been designed specifically to tell you about that topic. So for instance, this is a tutorial focusing on living on a living allowance, and you can go through that um, there. You can also access other resources and the forms related to each of these topics down here on the bottom. So that's just a sense of how the layout works. And as you can see, there are numbers of topics here. Um, finding help, this is where you would go for a lot of the pieces of information related to the member handbook. If you have questions, uh, a lot of those basic questions that you're looking to find answers for um, is here as well. The second section, or the middle section, is called the work. And the work section is really focusing on how you use the campus um, resources, tools, materials, to do some of the things that, are, that you're asked to do in your VAD, your volunteer assignment description. And so whether you're recruiting volunteers, which would be in the um, working with volunteers section, or maybe you're asked to raise funds, do grant writing, um, it can also be marketing your uh, program or a particular event, things that are, are particular to your VISTA role um, 
you're going to be able to find resources for in these sections. For example, I'm in the building partnership section, and it's laid out the same way, where there are resources um, from top to bottom in order of weight and applicability to what you're trying to do. And finally, the third section, connecting with VISTAs, is where you're going to find all of the resources that are really meant to help you maximize the power of your VISTA community. So as you can see on top here, there are the VISTA forums, and they'll show you which ones are um, being most used at the moment. So under the vCafe, you can see the current threads in here. And then you can also get examples to some of the other forums where conversations are currently going on. And then if you'd like to access all forums, you click on this button over here, and it will take you to the list of um, comprehensive forums on the VISTA campus. Other features in the Connecting with VISTA section, um, there's the online users map that can show you uh, if you're logged in. Another benefit to logging in is that you can, uh, you can see and you can be seen on this map as to whether you're using the campus at the current moment. So you have a chance to be able to connect with other people who might be on there now and um, talk about what kind of resources you're looking at or have some of your um, questions answered as well. And there's the resource map that then takes you uh, into resources by area. So this is a map that's been populated by VISTAs, um, supervisors, people who've been on the campus before, and um, they'll, they'll put in information about um, some resources that have been helpful in the areas where, so if you're working in um, Spokane, Washington, and there's another VISTA who's been there before and put in information, you should be able to uh, find resources that are applicable to you. There's also resources that VISTA and VISTA headquarters have put in there, so at the state level, um, things that would also be helpful for you there. On the bottom is uh, access to the VISTA viewfinder, which is the online publication for VISTAs, and then also to uh, the VIAS4 campaign, which you may have heard about at your PSO as well. And then across the bottom and on the side, all of the uh, social media networks where VISTAs are connecting and continuing conversations all the time. And let's see. I think that's it for, for now, Danielle. I'm going to stop there so I don't go too, too deep. OK, great. But, um, so we'll grab rights back. Um, and if you guys have any questions, you can start typing them, and we'll keep up with them in the chat. Otherwise, I'm going to go over some tips. Um, one of the things that's going to save you is to save your login information. I know it gets a lot every time that you have to um, go in and log in. So if you save it um, and you bookmark it, then you'll be able to get back to that page very quickly. The other thing is to use the search box. And Michelle, tell us the advantage of using that search box. Because I know when I go, and I go often, you guys, and when I go, I get lost sometimes. <laughs> and that search box uh, saves me. So what kind of things can I put in this, Michelle, just about anything? Um, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for, you know, as I said, you know, I showed you where the member handbook was. But if you are actually looking for the member handbook and you know that by name, you can, of course, type that into the search box. Um, maybe you're looking for resources for um, writing a grant or writing proposals. So you can search by that term and be able to, um, you know, receive a list of results that can help get you closer to what you're looking for. Okay, and then the other thing is to take a look around. So we're going to go back and share rights again, and one of the things that we want to encourage them to do is take a look around and not be afraid. Right, Zach, to just jump in there and see what they can see. That's half the fun of coming to a new website. <laughs> the other half is actually finding something. That's exactly right. And um, I think I mentioned bookmarking, bookmarking favorite pages. So when you land on something that's useful and you absolutely want it, then you want to be able to get back to it. So I have about eight in my toolbar of my favorites so that I can go back. Um, starting a conversation, I don't know if we have any alumni on the page, but um, a couple of things. If you want to share some experiences in your story, we certainly want you to do that in the forums in the VCAFE. We're also hoping that you'll be mentors to some of the other VISTAs who are in PSOs. And then familiarizing yourself with the campus catalog. Michelle, we're going to go back to the, um, we're going to give you rights back so we can go ahead and dig into some more parts of the uh, campus. But can you talk to us a little bit about the campus catalog? Sure. Um, can you see my screen? Not yet. Okay, let me make sure I'm sharing. OK, 
Okay, so um, another thing to point out is that in addition to the search, which you can type in anything and receive results around, there's also um, on every page in the same spot this campus catalog, which is a way to just browse by particular resources everything that's in this um, VISTA section of the campus. So perhaps you heard, hey, there's a, there's a tutorial somewhere about living on the the allowance, but living on living allowance, um, but I'm not sure where it is or which section I can find it in. This camp, campus catalog is essentially a list of everything on there, and um, they're in there by section, so you can see they correspond to the sections that are in each section of the campus. So I wanted to just kind of, I guess, play ping pong between you and Zach, <laughs> back and forth and ask you guys some questions. Um, the the life of the VISTA, is that where I start? I, I come in, I log in, I land on this page, and I see this beautiful graphic design. Where do I go? It's <laughs> uh, a great question. And uh, as a VISTA, and I think, uh, and Michelle is a VISTA, I can uh, speak from experience and just saying that sometimes you don't know where, where you're supposed to go and you don't know um, who you need to talk to. So the first thing I would do is uh, scroll down the page and go to whoever has control of the page, you can scroll down. <laughs> and, and go to finding help. It's a it's oh, a great place. Go. It's a great place to click on that uh, to look. Um, one of the resources we have here, we have the member handbook, but we also have the Vista Resource uh, Board. Uh, which, if you click on that, you'll see that uh, there's a wonderful board that gives you uh, a one-stop shop in terms of all the numbers you'll basically need. Uh, during your year of service from uh, if you have a health uh, health benefits question or if you just uh, if you need uh, <coughs> uh, information regarding uh, the College Cost Reduction Act, Act, things like that, this is a great place to start in terms of uh, uh, right, right when you, right, uh, after you finish PSO. So I finish my PSO, I come to this resource board and just about anything that I want because um, you're going to give us a lot of information to PSO, and sometimes it may be overwhelming. And I come to this page, and I can click on. Let's let's try one. Where shall we go? I, I would I would start with need help because you know need a lot help. of times you'll, you'll come you'll have this question in mind. And you're like, I remember at PSO somebody said something about uh, a member support number or something like that, and you'll click on this, and you're like, oh, there's there's the number for the VMSU, the member member, the VISTA member support unit, and I can email them or I can call them, and those are the questions that they'll answer for me. So, I mean, you know, and then there's their state office. So if you forgot your state office number or um, or we have a, another a link to the VISTA member handbook because we know how important it is uh, during your service to have, have answers um, near you so you don't uh, get, feel like you're always uh, uh, chasing down an answer. We want the answers in one place for you. So uh, I would always suggest uh, this is probably one of the pages I would, I would bookmark as a VISTA. This and the living allowance uh, page because I always want to know when <laughs> my next living allowance is coming in. Great. Where is the living allowance page? If, uh, if you go uh, keep going back to the uh, Life as a Vista, mm -hmm. it's the middle box. We, uh, uh, when we uh, tested with Vistas out there, we found out that living allowance was so important, we want to make it front and center. Right. Great. So these are tips and stories from current and former Vistas on how to live on a very limited budget. I think they'll be visiting that quite a bit, and that's <laughs> probably a page they might want to bookmark as well. Yeah, and the Vista Forum on recipes, housing, and dollar stores is a great way for Vistas to connect with each other and talk through, uh, you know, how to find a place to rent, uh, you know, great things, great meals to, to make on a limited budget. So there, there are some great uh, discussions out there where Vistas are actually supporting Vistas, which we think is great. Great. And, again, a wonderful opportunity for the alumni to come and share their story and uh, be a mentor to some of the new Vistas who are going to be going through the same experience that you had when you were serving as a Vista. Exactly, and if you're if you're an alumnus who's living in in uh, Houston or Birmingham as as or Minneapolis St. Paul, you know you may, you may be able to actually help with this. Uh, either find a find a place or actually say, oh, there's this great local website that lists uh, rentals. You might want to go here. Or, oh, here's the person you can call so I know who uh, is looking for a roommate. Things things of that nature. Are ways to to give back and help uh, the current Vista class. That's great. Now, Michelle. Um, there are a lot of questions about how do I find. Uh, when we get questions in either the VCAFE or on Twitter or Facebook, the question almost always starts with, how do I find? <laughs> Fill in the blank. So how do I find? How do I start searching to find something? I've landed on that page, um, and now I'm trying to find X. Fill in the blank. 
Well, particularly related to that, so as I touched on some of the more uh, essential things, if you will, things related to some of the policy questions or some of the living uh, allowance questions, which are very basic and very important to get started. Um, and one of the things that we'll do in next month's session is drill a little bit deeper into some of the um, specific resources. But for example, um, when it comes to you know answers to project questions, so some of the activities that this is um, are assigned to do are represented in this in this section, the work section. And you can see um, within each of these areas um, that I touched on earlier um, examples of the, those types of things. So, for instance, if I'm working on community development or I'm just getting started and I'm trying to understand what, um, what the mission of this uh, uh, around building ca capacity would involve me to do. I can find the further subsections here and then go into these specific resources that tell me what that's all about. Um, the same thing for a lot of VISTAs are responsible for um, raising funds and mobilizing resources within their uh, service year and so that's one of those sections that's further subdivided. Um, into the specific tasks around those things that we're trying to do. That sounds great. Angela asks, she says, at her PSO, this is in the chat, at her PSO they shared some resources, and i.e. TechSoup Vista Print, and she wants to know if there's a section on the campus for technology. Um, that's that's a really, oh. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> that's a really um, good question. And so, um, under the communi communications and marketing section of the campus here, you'll see there's quite a bit, and we do have um, everything from improving your communication skills uh, on a basic level to uh, using social media. And here's where some of the more technology-focused resources tend to be. Um, so, for instance, the e-organizer is a tool that really um, attempts to consolidate a lot of the resources that are out there um, online and depending on the particular tasks you're trying to do, organize them in a way that you can look up exactly what you're looking for. Um, this session that we're doing today is part of the Social Media Monday series which um, has several archives about how to use our respective platforms from Twitter to Flickr to Ning um, and those are all accessible through here. Um, this is a social media guide on just tips and and uh, regulations for, for using social media as a VISTA member, um, et cetera. So, um, and then, of course, there's the forum that connects you back to ask direct questions to um, your peers and mentors. Zach, did you want to add something to that in terms of technology? Uh, sure. Uh, one of the things I wanted to add, and I think we're going to reference it later, uh, is we actually did a recent issue on technology and VISTA in the, in the uh, our e-newsletter, the, the VISTA Viewfinder. And uh, we'll, we'll show you how to get to that page. I think it's under connecting with the business. You might have seen it earlier. Um, so if you want to look at that uh, issue as well, uh, that issue of the, the newsletter, that'd be a great place to uh, check out uh, some of the things that are going on as well. And Jim had a question, and he, he wants to know, is there a way to get a list of all the vistas serving in the area where um, we will be serving, he says. Now, other than the Vista map, which is an incredible tool, uh, is that where we should direct them in terms of connecting with others? That well, in the forum? There, there, are, there are two ways. You can actually um, uh, you, you can look on the Vista map and you can actually search through the list of individuals um, uh, to see if anybody's in your area. I would actually suggest you, you contact your state office because they have the list and um, because of uh, personal identifying information, uh, they'll have to uh, make the um, ask for you or potentially uh, will tell you, well, we can do this, but we can't do that. Um, so uh, contact your state office is probably the best way to go with that. But, I mean, we have created this resource so VISTAs can potentially have a place where they can find each other and connect with each other without having to uh, contact their state office because we know uh, of, um, we, all, we all know our state offices are incredibly busy and uh, if we can uh, keep from having to put the extra burden on them, it, it'd, be <laughs> it'd be nice. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Jill Cotton, not Joe. Somehow I put uh, Jill and <laughs> Cotton together and it came out with Joe. It was Jill's question. So Jill, contact your state office or be a pioneer for us and go in there and introduce yourself in the V Cafe, start a forum, and encourage the others in your area to join you as well and go ahead and put your pin in and represent, okay? The, uh, the other one great place is uh, on the VISTA Facebook page, there's a thing called the VISTA map. Where, people, uh, where VISTAs who are uh, also on Facebook have been starting to put their pins in, 
uh, what basically it, it, uh, you put a pin in the map to say where you serve, um, so that other businesses around the area will know will know can contact you through Facebook. Um, alumni can do that as well if they haven't done that. So if you go to the you know if you haven't already signed up uh, for the uh, AmeriCorps Vista uh, fan page on Facebook, you might want to do that and put your pin in there and see who else is, uh, is in the area. I, I thank you for the social media plug. Woohoo! Yep. <laughs> Everybody on the phone, join Facebook as soon as you hang up. <laughs> anyway, so um, we still have a little bit of time before the question and answers, and so I'm going to throw it back to Michelle. I think she had one more point that she wanted to make. Thanks, Danielle. Um, Yes, I did. In addition, as you mentioned, so in addition to the work section, which has um, some project-specific areas that you might find helpful, um, also in the life is a VISTA section. So on a personal note, you know, you're, you're going through your VISTA service. You know, you're going to have to work on, um, think about what's next after, after VISTA. And so there are some great resources in this life after VISTA section um, that you don't have to wait until your last month of service to check out. Um, there's things that can be really helpful in here. Uh, about using your Ed Award, about determining what those next steps are. What's next is a tutorial that will take you through that decision and planning making process and VISTA works, um, which will help you with the job exploration, um, resume building, um, even interview tips. So there's some good things also to check out here in the Life is a VISTA section that um, are not necessarily kind of the, the basics, but also things to help guide you um, through your personal journey as well. And one thing I'd like to point out, it's, it's not necessarily helping you in your in your work, but it sure does give you lots of warm and fuzzies, and that's the VISTA history and mission. And sometimes when you get off track and you're having a bad day or a bad week or a bad month, it's not a bad idea to go in here and just look at the mission and um, remember why you came in the first place and just, you know, to hear some stories for some other people and to get that warm and fuzzy feeling back <laughs> to encourage you um, when it's a rough month or a rough day or a rough week. And I know that I go there sometimes as well. Um, and it, I don't know, Zach, Michelle, I'm sure you agree that that's just, I mean, I'm sure that's why it's there. Um, in addition to letting everybody else know about the mission of this, it's sometimes nice to remind ourselves why uh, that mission is there and, and the history behind it. Absolutely. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, so, I don't disagree at all. <laughs> Hannah, wants, I don't know, <laughs> um, Hannah wants to know, can non-AmeriCorps create an account? Our student leaders um, would find a lot of this very helpful. Most definitely. We created it with this is in mind, but all are welcome to, uh, to uh, engage uh, on, the, on the VISTA campus. If they create an account, they just need to make sure, like, uh, like VISTA, that they uh, adhere to the uh, the norms and policies to make sure that uh, you know they're not saying anything inappropriate. Uh, we consider this, and I think we'll probably mention this later, a, a safe haven, so we can really talk and uh, and have good discussions about what's going on in Vista. And so my question to you, Zach, is I always thought that they had to uh, sign in as a guest, but that's not necessarily true. You, you can set up a regular account even if you're not a Vista. I'd have to go back and check, but I uh, I can't remember if we say that you. Uh, through the account process, if we request that you say that you're a VISTA, VISTA leader, or state office, I'd actually have to go back and look, but that's a great idea in terms of creating a, a, another um, opportunity. Um, uh, you can sign in as a guest uh, w whenever they want, but if they want to actually uh, be a part of the forums and, and speak on the forums, they actually would have to create an account. Um, my question to some of the people in the chat room are, do you, are you all – those of you who have visited here before and are past your PSO time, are, is there anything specific that you would use the campus for or want to use the campus for? Are you looking to fundraise? Are you looking um, for a communications plan? If so, let us know because we want to make sure that we get to those points today so we can help you. Again, we are going to have a part two, and we're going to drill down a lot deeper into the work of VISTA and how you use the campus. But while we have you on the phone, if there's anything specific we can help you with, um, go ahead and put it in the chat, and we'll let you know. Um, Angelie, I think when we get to Q&A, we're going to open up the phone line for your question because I think we're going to need to have a little conversation back and forth. She wants to know about social media and Facebook and getting some help with getting the volunteers to use that page, and we can talk you through that in just a bit. 
So um, if there aren't any other questions where we are now, we can go ahead and open it up, and we'll keep taking it for a tour. And so, um, Michelle, you'll continue to have rights? Sure. All right, great. So, work? yeah, that works. Let's go, let's go ahead and open up the phone line. And then we want to go to... Vanessa, we need to open up the phone lines when you have a sec. All lines are now open. Great, thank you. Hello, everyone. So that means we can hear all of you. Hello. <laughs> so is it Angel? Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Yes, fine. Angel. Angel. Okay. Hi, Angel. So can you give me your specific question? Give me a little bit more detail about what it is you're asking. Okay. On my bad, I'm asked to recruit or ask for volunteers to do the social media on Facebook, like make postings and stuff like that on the Facebook, but I'm finding it very hard to get people to volunteer to do that as well as also getting fans or people to like that particular um, organization that we're working with. So what do I do or what can I do? Well, one of, the first, one of the first suggestions that I would have is to have one designated person. Um, what often happens is when you just ask people um, or ask a group of people. Sally thinks Joe's going to do it, and Joe thinks oh. Diane's going to do it. Diane thinks okay. Sally's going to do it. So to have one designated person, though they don't have to do all the posts themselves, but that they're responsible for making sure that the, the page is aggregated. And um, then the other thing is you want to engage other people so other people will engage you. So you go out and you find other groups and organizations that support the mission um, where with this particular um, – page that you set up, and you start commenting on their pages, and you start um, trying to do things with them, and then they in turn will start doing things with you. It, it, I, I will tell you there's no secret pill, there's no magic number, there's no specific date. It does take a lot of work to build communities, and, and you have to think about this is exactly what you're doing. You're building a community, but you're building an online community, and you, you want to talk to them every day, you want to be engaging, and we actually have um, some tips right here on the campus, if we go to that social media section, Michelle, um, we have some tips on how to talk, how to use social media. And I think you'll find that very useful for you. And it's under communications and marketing. And then um, if you read through that, um, it will help you with some of the nuts and bolts of it, but participate in renew. And, you, and please do go through our Social Media Monday website, uh, web shop. All of our archives are there, and they talk up. We have one specifically on Facebook um, for this does. And please go ahead and listen to that, and that will give you some hands-on tools and resources. And if beyond that you still need help, drop us a note in the forum, and we'll get back to you, and we'll walk you through it. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Anybody else have any specific questions on how they could use the campus or, or the resources and tools that are available here for you? Yes. Um, I was I was wondering, um, would you recommend someone sign up on the um, campus if they are just considering becoming a BISTA? Because um, I actually not too long ago finished um, finished my first AmeriCorps time with um, City Year Greater Philadelphia, and I'm considering, I'm thinking about possibly becoming a VISTA. I'm researching opportunities that local, um, local opportunities that are um, through, that are VISTAs, that are looking for VISTAs and looking for AmeriCorps members, but is it premature at this point to set up an account on the campus? Gotcha. What would you say, Zach? Uh, I, would, I would honestly say it, it, it's up to you. Um, <laughs> if you want to ask questions of people, you know, of current vistas on the campus on some of the forums, then yeah, I would say set up an account. Um, but you can also do that through the Facebook, our Facebook page as well. I, I know there are a lot of people out there. Who, I've actually seen a bunch of questions recently from people who are saying, hey, I think I'm considering or I'm, I'm about to start this. So, you know, what, what uh, thoughts or ideas uh, do you have? Uh, about about this service, so I mean there there are different ways to go to go about it. Uh, if you just if you're just coming to the campus to see what this is kind of like and you know what what type of resources and what it seems like this is do, uh, I don't think you would need to set up an account. 
because uh, you, you can just sign in as a guest and, and look through. But if you're uh, looking to potentially uh, ask questions and, and, and speak with other VISTAs through the campus on forums, then, you would, then yes, you'd want to set up an account. And it's okay to set up an account and then not join VISTA. That's fine. That's not a problem at all. Okay. Anybody else? Robin, I know, I hope you're still on the call. I'm about to pull you out. Um, can you tell us how you, you're, you're a big, huge online user and um, great in the social media space. Can you let some of the other folks know how you use the campus? Yeah, I can. Um, actually, I have a couple of the other VISTAs in my office on today, and we're looking to figure out how we can um, actually, you, we're using this in our office as kind of a tutorial for how we can introduce other VISTAs to these resources. But um, for me, I really, I, it, there's a lot on the campus, but I usually am searching for specific information. So, like, uh, I know you guys have a section on um, partnerships, so you did. I haven't really looked at the new VISTA campus. But, for instance, when I was doing a workshop on partnerships, I would kind of pour through all of the resources on building partnerships and kind of compile that for other people to look through. But also with the... Um, Compiled Social Media Monday, those are so great in helping people get that real quick, like a real nice intro to whatever you want, whether it's blogs, if there's a couple of us who are thinking about starting their own blog, um, you know, doing Facebook, that's kind of a nice way to have it archived. And use it, you know, sit down as an office and kind of use it to, um, you know, learn about Facebook as like a lunch and learn using it, and that's, you know, another way that we're, you know, kind of looking into using some of the resources here, too, as a team to kind of use these resources as a way to, as a team, you know, use, uh, use it as a professional development strategy. So um, you mentioned a couple of things. One is the um, partnerships, and that is still there. Michelle, that's on the work of the VISTA page. It's cut off at the top. Oh, I'm sorry. No, yes, yeah, this is in the work section, and it's the middle. In the middle, the right. Build partnerships. Okay. And the other thing she talked about was using this as a resource for some of the other vistas in the office. And um, I would imagine that the very first place that they should start is this page, correct? Just clicking inside of these boxes. Yeah. 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 And and of course the search and the campus catalog and the, this left hand navigation they're all meant to kind of get you to the same resources. It's just a matter of whether you're looking for something specific or whether you're just looking around to see what's there. And were we going to show them the catalog a little later or can we pop one it now? Sure. Um I I pointed out and it is here. I think I was getting to it from the connecting with this section, but right, you can see I'm in the work section, and it's in the same place over here on the bottom left. Um, and again, if you just click on there, then you can just browse by title of resource. So again, if, if I get lost, I can always go to the catalog, and then this is a, a comprehensive list of everything that I'm looking for. And something yeah, I didn't even know I was looking for. Right, and that's a good point, is that um, the, the campus catalog list also includes items that may not necessarily appear in the other blocks, but it, it's a more comprehensive list of everything that's on there. Right. Um, one thing I can I can point out while, um, just while I still have rights and then I'll hand it back over to you, is that while we've been focusing, obviously, on the VISTA section of the campus, um, there are also these other icons up, up here that are intended for some of the other audiences that might be also coming here. And so for those of you who are VISTA leaders or who have VISTA leaders um, at your site, this page is specifically um, for them and includes some particular pieces about, obviously, that role and, and ways to access resources on the campus um, that would be helpful to that. Um, Zach, I didn't know. If if you want me to say anything else about the leaders or if there's anything to add to that. Uh, I, I'm actually sorry. I wasn't able to hear you. I got pulled up for a moment. <laughs> what, what were you what were you mentioning about just, the leaders? I was just pointing out um, that for those leaders on the call or for those VISTAs who have leaders um, that they work with, that, that this is a, another section of the campus that might also be helpful. Yeah, and uh, supervisors should uh, feel uh, the same as well to look at the leaders page as well as the supervisors page. And I mean, even alumni can look at the, the leaders page if they're thinking about doing a second year of uh, service. Great, thank you. Yeah. Um, and 
Um, that's a good segue. So uh, the other sections, um, as I indicated, is there's an, an alumni section, um, and currently VISTA is celebrating its 45th anniversary, so there's a lot of great information on here about how to get connected to um, events that are going on, ways to share your VISTA story, um, and to stay involved. So um, also check that out. And order your 45th anniversary T-shirt. <laughs> Um, and another neat thing, um, it, uh, Danielle talked earlier about the connection to sort of this, this history. Um, there are these pieces down here that are um, some elements from the 60s and 70s that were business specific um, that are kind of fun to check out under this history section. And then, of course, there's also a supervisor section of the campus and um, a place for state offices as well. So. Those are just some of the other areas that there are here. So I think that's it for now, and okay. I'll turn it back to Danielle. All right, great. We um, are going to go ahead and give right back to Suzanne, and we're going to go over some things to keep in mind because we are online, and although um, the Vista campus is a big place, the um, Internet is an even bigger place. <laughs> and so there are some things to keep in mind. Michelle, why don't you get us started? Um, sure. Um, briefly, and, and Zach hinted at this before, but um, we just do want to stress that the forums on the VISTA campus are a safe place to um, talk to other VISTAs, talk to potential VISTAs, former VISTAs, um, you know, supervisors. It's really um, uh, amazing how um, members have found resources in each other and also, um, you know, on every side of a particular um, topic or issue um, can sort of thoughtfully have those kinds of conversations. So we want to stress that, um, you know, those are there for you and while, you know, um, they are read and they are um, contributed to, it's really a place where you can feel comfortable, um, you know, talking about the things that are important to you in your service. Obviously, um, having said that, you know, it, uh, you want to remember that you are representing VISTA, and so in all social media spaces, obviously on the campus, but also on some of our other platforms, um, just to be sure that you know that you are representing VISTA, and if you're, if you're doing something on behalf of your organization as well, um, you want to make sure that everything is in line with um, what's appropriate for being in that role. And finally, um, the HATS Act, which uh, restricts political activity um, and lobbying is also applicable to online spaces. So just be sure that any any of anything that would be restricted um, physically, you know, is also um, limited when you're uh, operating in online spaces as well. We also want you to stay safe online, not just on the Vista campus, but anywhere online. Um, protect yourself and your organization. Keep your passwords in a secure place. Don't share them. Be selective about who you communicate with. Don't give out information. And basically just stay safe online and don't get drawn into conflict. And I think if you can follow these rules, you'll be great. Um, if we can advance the slide, we're, we're going to continue the conversation in the Vista Cafe and the Vista Forum. And so you can go ahead and leave us messages if you didn't want to talk up, speak up today or if you think about something later, please go ahead and leave us some information. We'll get back to you there. Also, uh, Michelle, they can learn more about the viewfinder. Um, that's right. And um, just real quick before I do that, I do want to draw your attention to the um, evaluation in the bottom right of the screen. If you could just take a few minutes while we're um, continuing here to um, share your thoughts with us, we'd really appreciate it. Um, as you know, we're always trying to improve these and, and build upon them, so anything that you have to offer would be greatly appreciated. Um, as Zach did mention, the viewfinder, um, the, the e-publication um, for VISTAs is available um, through the campus. Um, the easiest way to get there is uh, through the Connecting with VISTA section and just scroll down to the big box that says viewfinder, um, and you can uh, view all the archives there for the past three years, believe it or not. Um, and so the, the issue that Zach was referencing on the digital divide um, is the April issue, and um, it comes out on the first, of, first Wednesday of each month. And we do also want to just mention um, that, of course, the campus catalog is also a helpful place to look for items. And finally, that we will be doing um, some shorter, more more personalized uh, campus tours on an ongoing basis starting in August. So look out for information on those. If you have specific questions, um, don't have an entire hour to spend with us, 
15 or 20 minutes and can walk you through some of the things that are available on the campus and, and hopefully answer some of your specific questions. All right, then um, the other thing we want to do is ask that you participate and review. Again, the poll is running there, the evaluation rather. It's going to be open just for a couple of more minutes. So we yep, have just one more minute. Out. So if you haven't already, please participate in the evaluation. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you. And just so you know, we talked about the fact that the Social Media Monday websites are located on the campus. There's a link for you right there. Um, if there's anything we didn't answer during this webshop, please uh, feel free to visit that page and leave us some information, some questions. Uh, you'll find all the archives and upcoming sessions in the Social Media Monday webshop page, course page. You can continue the conversation in the new cafe. And then just to let you know, we are looking for some folks to join us in the next one as we talk about project specific and content specific information that's available to you on the VISTA campus. So if you want to be a guest or you want to participate in that next webshop, please let us know. You can leave me a message there and I'll make sure, I'll make sure I get back to everybody. Okay, and so these are the links that we went over in the web shop today. And the campus like Life of the Vista for our alumni, the viewfinder, and then if we advance, the Social Media Monday Archive, the Hatch Act, Staying Safe Online. We hope that you will join us on Twitter, that's our handle, it's at Vista Buzz, and that you will also visit us on Facebook, and that's the link there. Finally, of course, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, thank you also for, um, you know, participating if you have in the past and certainly for your service. Um, the VISTA campus is really a place that's designed specifically for you all. And so, um, you know, any, anything that um, we can do to maximize that, um, please let us know. And, of course, if you're able to, we would love to have you next month um, as we go a little bit deeper on what's available on the campus and uh, would love to know what topics you'd like to um, hear about as well. And that will be on um, Monday, August 30th, the last Monday of the month, um, and that'll be part two um, as we uh, look at the Vista Campus on the next Social Media Monday. And Zach, was there anything else? Um, as, a, uh, as a former Vista, as a Vista alumnus, as a uh, employee of the Corporation for National Community Service, I really want to thank all the visitors out there for their service, uh, for calling in today, for helping their communities, and the alumni out there as well who are listening, and uh, those who are considering this, so feel, please do so. Uh, it's a great program. Uh, thank you all. Uh, it's been great. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next month. Thank you.